Burn the Floor has the reputation of being the world's toughest dance show. Most of the cast are champions in their countries, and now they've been joined by a dancer raised in Sasselberg, who didn't wait for a chance, he created one. We all love Johannes, but what is the reason that you picked him? Well, Johannes came to me by chance. Um, he wrote me like a one-liner, I'm interested in joining Burn the Floor. And I thought, oh, that's interesting. Um, asked him some questions, got photos, footage, kept asking for more footage. I thought, it's too good to be true. I, like, I didn't know Johannes at all. And really just such a, a wonderful find. At the age of 11, Johannes was already a junior pre-championship dancer. As a teenager, when his dad passed away, he became the man of the family. After school, he danced on cruise ships to earn a living. My heart is pounding. <laughs> Look what you're doing to me. You started dancing when you were seven years old. What has been your biggest challenges and your best achievements? I was discovered by Patricia Pellman, a lady that lives out in Enidale. And she took me into her home and she paid for my schooling and for my dancing. But being there, I was exposed to to, to this world, to the dancing world. And of course, wanting more as a young boy, I always thought, Joe, next level, where to from here? And I took a taxi and I came to Johannesburg, you know, and I, I learned, I met people, I met different teachers, and I worked with different choreographers. And I found myself coming back to the country after seven years of being abroad, and I went to go win the South African National Champs with my partner, Janae Swart. And after that, I, once again, it was like Johannes next level, dude, what next? And I, I applied for this job, and today I'm standing here. What advice do you have for youngsters who want to get to where you are today? This is a very humbling experience. I'm very honored to be dancing on the Mandela stage today considering where I come from. I mean, I remember there were days where I slept at the taxi rank, you know, just to make it to, to rehearsals. And today I'm booked into the Pactonian Hotel overlooking the Bree Street. I've been very, very blessed to have come this far in my life. The company's new show, Fire in the Ballroom, has a more theatrical rock angle, including music by Santana, Christina Aguilera, and Led Zeppelin. Burn the Floor is based on Borum and Latin American dancing, but it's always got an edge to it. There's always something that different and unexpected, whether it's from the music, the costuming, choice of cast, um, and what they actually give to the show. Everyone that's cast into the show brings something different. Um, it's someone that the general public can relate to. There's 15 performers on stage, and therefore they, they fill the stage with something that's appealing to everybody that watches. Johannes is up at five every morning. The cast start with a technical class, have a full day ending at seven, then perform, sleep and do it again. Hectic, but he's loving it. What is the biggest lesson you've learned since you've joined the company? Well, I thought I was a hard worker. <laughs> Put that aside, I mean, this, this, this is intense. And one thing that I've, that I've realized is that, Johannes, you need, if, if you want to be the best of the best, you need to work 10 times more than what you think you're working on. So I have to say, like, I am, I am more driven than I was before, and I'm so inspired just to become a better dancer. Johannes, I know the gentlemen normally ask the ladies to dance, but I'm going to ask you, may I please have this dance? Oh, yes, for sure. Johannes was quite a rugby player at school, which came as no surprise, as he's a superbly athletic dancer. Jade wasn't doing too badly either. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> Literally swept off my feet. This man is incredible. Oh no, you're a natural. Burn the Floor has played a nine-month run on Broadway and has repeated seasons in London's West End. Its success comes down to the romance of a man and a woman dancing together, like Pascal La Roca and Victoria Martin. Looking incredible, guys. Oh, hello. hello. So, Victoria, I believe you dance with Johannes. What is that like? Yes, I dance with Johannes in a number called Carmen, and we connected straight away. If you think we've never danced together with each other, but he's so committed in everything he does, and those, those big brown eyes of his, I, I, he communicates very well. And me and Johannes, we're basically fighting for having her. So <laughs> it's uh, really, really nice. It's really, there's a really special connection between the three of us. Yeah. I'm a lucky girl. I've got these two boys taking control of me, so I'm in safe hands. So do you mind if I sit back and watch you dance some more? Oh, no, no, mm -hmm. like, 
you to see dancing, so it's your turn. Oh. It's your turn, Jade. You have to dance. <laughs> you have to dance. Okay, challenge accepted. What am I going to do? Okay, we're going to do I'll some salsa, up. yeah? Yes, I love salsa, actually. Okay, one, two, three. Five, six, to the side. One, two, three. Chicken, that's actually cool. Seven, seven, I just one, go. two, three. I just... To the back. <laughs> and one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three. Five, six, seven. And Ooh, one, two, three. Nice. Whoa. Oh, my body roll. The Mercury certainly rises in this number between Johanna's and Australian dancer Megan Rag. She joined the company five years ago and still loves every second. Well, life is looking pretty good. You're dancing with an angel, you're traveling the world. I think you've got the best of the good life. As a young boy, I looked up to them and I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I could be part of that. And now that I'm here, it's so real. Like, I'm so happy. I'm excited about it all. Everyone aspires to be part of Burn the Floor. It's, it's the best show that any ballroom dancer could dream to be in. So Johannes is lucky as well as I'm lucky to be here. And um, we're, we're living our dream. It's just amazing to be part of such an amazing company. We get to travel the world and do what we love. If you want to be the next new find, get to their Talk Back Tuesdays, when the cast answer audience questions. Or just enjoy the show on the Mandela stage until October the 3rd.